Hello, welcome back again, and we are going to review the present and the past. Actually, we are going to change sentences from the present to past, and uh, we are going to review the present, the future, and the past, using regular verbs and irregular verbs. Okay, in English, we have three main tenses, the past, the present, and the future. Within each of these, we have some variations. The past continuous, the past perfect, the present continuous, the present perfect, the future again uh, with the future continuous, future perfect, future perfect continuous, etc. Okay, so we are going to deal with this as you are going to see. In the present tense, we use the verbs to express actions that happen at the moment, now, or today, for example. That means in the present. That could be regular things that normally happen, or things that we are doing at the moment we are talking. Okay? Um, in the present, verbs will have three forms. The infinitive, the simple form, the third, singular person form, and uh, the gerund or uh, ing form, or what is called the present participle, okay? Uh, in this case, we are using now and today as clear words, and in the third person singular, we have some examples. For example, stay will have stays. Fly, flies, float, floats, Remember, fly in the infinitive is written with a Y, but in the third person we drop the Y and we add I E S. Play, plays, juggle, juggles, jog, jogs, and so on. Okay? Um, remember that in the third person affirmative we need to use these forms. In the future, we can use some forms. Okay, will is the most common, the easiest actually, but we also have the to be going to and the present progressive that is used to express actions in the future. Okay, uh, some words are tomorrow, someday, next time, next week, next year, etc. We'll play, we'll have, we'll lead with it, we'll be happy, we'll like our examples and these have uh, the auxiliary will and the infinitive or the simple form of the verb that comes after. As you know, we have the subject, the auxiliary, the infinitive and the complement in future tense sentences. In the past tense, most verbs will end in ed, but some of them need to uh, follow some rules that we have already studied. Okay, uh, the past tense verbs describe actions that have uh, already happened or that have just finished, okay, in the past. Um, we have you know, irregular verbs that will change the spelling. For example, regular verb beg, beg it, and remember we double the G because it is preceded by a vowel, feed, Changes is an irregular verb, fed, run, ran, grow, uh, grew, like, like it, like it is a regular verb, play, played, again, a regular verb. Okay, remember, we have in the past tense regular and irregular. And we also have the verb to be, uh, am, was, is, was, are, were, that are the corresponding forms for the present and the past. Was and where are the past forms of the verb to be? Okay, so let's try to move some sentences from the present to the past. Okay, here we have uh, some particular things. There are five ways to change. Okay, do you remember we add ed to most verbs? Walk, walk it. We double the final consonant. And we add ed, beg, beg it. Do you remember when we have 
a vowel before the final consonant and the, the vowel is stressed, we double it. We drop the final E and add ED. Actually, is like saying we add ED. Live, libid. We change the Y to I and we add ED. Study, studied. Okay, we change the Y by I. We, we change the Y, we drop the Y and we add IED. Study, studied. The irregular verbs will change the spelling. Go and went. As you see, go and went are not related in the spelling, so we need to learn them by memory most of the time. Okay, do you remember that we had some rules we use when we uh, change uh, from singular to plural nouns? Okay, so the rules are almost the same with the difference that in this case we, don't, we do not add S, we add D or ED. Okay. Examples are today I walk home. Yesterday I walked at home. Did it rain today? It rained yesterday. We double the final consonant. When, the, when, when a present tense verb has a vowel and a consonant by the end, we double the final consonant and uh, add ed. Drop to drop it. He dropped the ball. He dropped the ball. Hop on one foot. She hopped on one foot. Okay? Both end in, in this case, in P and are preceded by a, by an stressed, uh, by a stressed vowel. Okay, uh, when we add an a D, okay, we skated together. Skate is this, the um, the present skated is the past form. We have just added D. I like to shop. I like it shopping with you. We drop the Y and we change to add. Will you help me carry the groceries? We carried them to the kitchen. Carried is the form of the past tense for carry. Eric asked me to marry him on New Year's Day. We got married on August 2nd, 1997. Okay, please remember that if you have any questions about this, just ask to your teacher in your presential class. That is probably going to be me in most cases. Changing the spelling, those are for irregular verbs, okay? For example, we ate lunch at 11.30, or as in England, 30 past 11. In the past tense, we ate lunch at half past 11 yesterday. Okay, remember, it changes to eight. It completely changes the spelling. Okay. Something I would like to uh, remind is that when we use a word before, it is better to use a comma. Like in the uh, description of, in the instructions of the slide, yesterday, I, so yesterday should be followed by a comma. Okay, this is going to be uh, reinforced during the presential class. Stand straight in line. Okay. Stood is the past form to stand. We stood straight in line. Okay, try to do it by yourselves. How can you make this present tense better, past tense better? Very easy. Like, what is the form of the past tense for like? Like it, like it, or like it? Obviously, is like it. Take, regular or irregular? Take it, took, take it, okay, it's B. Let's try some more examples, more exercises. Barry, 
buried, buried, buried. Okay, obviously it's a mop. Mop it, mop it, mop it. Okay, a because do you remember when the final consonant is preceded by a vowel, we double the consonant. Go. We have already seen it. Go it. No, go no is went. See. Okay, in the future tense is something that has not happened yet, but there is a strong possibility or it is predicted in the future to happen. Um, one of the most common forms of the future is will because it's quite easy also. And for example, today I go, yesterday I went, tomorrow I will go. Okay, I will go is the future form. Okay, from the present today we can change to the past and to the future. Today I go, yesterday I went, tomorrow I will go. Okay, we can also add ing to present tense verbs. Okay, um, the rules we had for past tense verbs can be applied in this case also. For example, in the present, we have carry, the past is of a regular verb, carried, and the gerund or continuous form is carry in. We have eat, the past is ate, and the ing form is eating. Walk, walk it, like, like it, drop, drop it. Walk, walking, like, liking, drop, dropping. Okay? Thank you very much and we will meet in a very close time.